After St. Bart, we sailed to St. Martin. It's pretty close and our main purpose at St. Martin was to do some maintaining at Hilma. We were getting closer in time to go to Panama and then the Pacific, so we wanted to do as much as possible at St. Martin, which is a great place to fix things on the boat. We needed to do some things about the fridge, because it was using a lot of power, and power was one other thing we had a problem with. Our solar panels in the stern didn't work, and had been broken for a while, so we needed to get some new ones. Also, we had ordered some spare parts for our water maker. One of the pumps hadn't worked for a while, so we had to fix that and some other smaller things. We knew St. Martin was ruined badly by the hurricanes, but when we came we saw it was even worse than we had realized. As we told you in our latest episode, we have had some trouble with the audio in our GoPro, so we're sorry about the noise and bad sound from time to time. Today we're changing the pump for the water maker, so this is the old pump station. And this is the damaged pump in the middle, so I don't know what's happened, but it's not working anymore. And we got the new one here, which was delivered here in in St. Martin. So I hope it's gonna work fine after this. Oscar changed the pump, and since we don't use our water maker when the water is dirty, we could not try it right away. We moved forward the next morning, and then we tried it. It worked perfectly fine, and once again we could make 60 liters of water per hour, which felt really nice. But before we left, we wanted to go to a beach nearby and see some airplanes landing quite close up. It was great. But you, you not Det var faktiskt väldigt bra balans. Are you looking forward to the night at sea? Yeah, first night at sea since uh, Atlantic crossing always. Yeah. So we're out two hours from uh, uh, St. Martin and uh, uh, 10, 12 to go. Maybe. Virgin Gorda in Bridge Virgin Islands is the plan to go. Yeah. And we but if we keep, if keep the speed. We're not going to be there in 12 hours. Not really. <laughs> uh, it's going to be 18 hours. But yeah, uh, we have really low speed, but hopefully the wind will pick up in a few hours. So yeah. we will hopefully be there around noon tomorrow, I guess. Yep. Just the van. <laughs> There's not really any traffic, so it's good. Yep.
We had a nice sail during the night and arrived at British Virgin Island the next day. First we anchored at this beautiful place and we also spent the night there. You like it? Yeah. I do. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the name of the place? Something fake. I don't really remember. So. Okay. <laughs> There were plenty of boats there during the day, but in the evening everyone disappeared and we were all alone. The next morning the coast guard visited the bay and told us that we could stay for the day but not spend the night. We told them we already spent one night there and that we were sorry about that. Luckily they were really friendly people and they said that it was okay. We had to clear into the country so we took the dinghy just a few minutes north to the custom and immigration office. Where are we now? Viva. British Virgin Islands. Yeah. We'll... At, uh, I would say, I would say Tortola but it's probably not. No. Yeah, it's the other one. I think it's close to Spring Bay. <laughs> Was it? And we're gonna do the clearance. Last port of call. Uh, it was Saint Martin. Det står bara Sankt Martin va? Ja. Okej, okay, så so nu är vi färdiga. Vi klarade in och ut på samma gång, så nu är vi fri att stå här för tre dagar innan vi tar oss till Cuba. Perfekt. Upp yeah. vi går! Where do you want to go? Uh, I would like to go to the bay with the reef. What, what was the name?
things wrong I waited up wounds on my feet Where will you be? Flickering through memories The Polaroids yellowed in the sun Longing to be seen So come and hide Hide with me Hide with me Hide with me Come and hide Hide with me Hide with me Hide with me When we came to Maria Cay, we took the dinghy to the bigger island and when we came there we saw that everything was closed. There were a few people in the marina and some people working on shore. Even here the hurricanes had made some great damage, but as far as we could tell they had rebuilt a lot and they were probably almost ready to get guests again. The water is pretty clear here too. Fint att det Ja, jättefint. We walked around for a while and we thought it looked like a really nice place. Stars are bright, they call you up just to hear your voice on the machine. Nothing will be like it was, but you will always be my first choice, just as it seems. So I'll let the clouds In the afternoon we went to the island on the other side. From our view it looked like there were a lot of wrecks on the beaches. We took the dinghy to shore and saw that there were a lot more wrecks on shore than we ever seen before. The hurricanes in 2017 destroyed a lot at British Virgin Islands and when we were there there were not many sailors around. We ended the day with a dinner and moved on the next morning. Did you like it? Yes, a lot. It's my favorite. You see it? One of them. Are you looking forward to the um, dessert? Yes.
Looking good? Yeah, but it's not so much wind today. Yeah, but it's a beautiful day. Yeah. Sailing through the passage of the north north side of Tortola in BVI Island. At Suffer's Hole, we were looking for an ATM, a grocery store, and the internet. It seems to be close, right? We had to take a taxi to get some cash and some food, but one restaurant turned out to be open in town, and we were lucky because they had some Wi Fi. We sat there for a while, and suddenly we felt some vibration under us. It was an earthquake and we were just about to leave the place but then it stopped. We are not used to that so it was kind of scary even though it just lasted for a short while. And off we go! Finally, we were on our way to Cuba, a place we both really had looked forward to go to. <laughs> 